Yo, what's up guys? Celestio so Gaming HD and I'm back at you with another brand new GTA 5 Give Cars to Friends glitch video after the most recent hot fixes in GTA 5 online. So if you guys go on to enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications to get notified on when I upload future awesome GTA Online videos like this. Alright, so to get started, you're going to need a facility for this glitch and your friend is also going to need a facility and you're also going to need one friend with an Avenger. Alright, once you have that, uh, your friend is going to need a vehicle that can go into an Avenger, and it needs to be a two-seater vehicle, all right? Now, once you have all that put together, um, you are going to need some vehicles in the facility to get rid of, as to you're going to be replacing over them because you're going to be getting your friend's cars, okay? This is a brand new gift cards to friends glitch. Uh, the founders of this glitch are me, Obese Giraffe, and Killer Gaming, so make sure you guys go and check them out. All right, so to get started with this glitch, you just want to go ahead and have your friend send you an invite to his facility, all right? So you just want to have him send you an invite to his Avenger inside his facility. So he's in his Avenger, and uh, this is going to be the person that is getting you glitched out, all right? So your friend is the person glitching you out, and you just want to have him invite you to his Avenger. All right, now the person in the pasture seat, which is me, uh, the person who's getting in the passenger seat is the person that's going to be receiving the car. Okay, so you just want to go ahead and get a recent activity ready. And right when you get in the car, he's going to go ahead and drive out. Okay, so once he drives out, you're going to have a recent activity ready. And he is also. Okay, so you both want to do a recent activity as soon as you guys get a, a black screen. All right, so for Xbox, you can use different targeting mode, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but for the most part, this works best with the recent activity. All right, so right when you see this black screen, we're going to do the recent activity and deny the alert. All right, so um, if it doesn't put you out of the car the first time, you can do the recent activity again like I did and then deny the alert again and it will put you out of the black, uh, like out of falling under the map. All right, so basically you just want to do a recent activity and you want your friend to do a recent activity, hit start GTA online and decline the alert right as you guys drive out. All right, so it's in the thread. I'll leave the seven cents thread in the description so you guys can check out the, the, uh, written tutorial and you guys can check out killer gaming's video or obese drafts if you guys don't uh understand this okay so you guys basically you want to exit the avenger and both do a recent activity at the same time the passenger is going to fall through the map and you're going to be over here over by mount chiliad you simply want to go ahead and grab a ceo helicopter and drive back okay do not get in a streetcar because it is going to give you the facility full alert okay now once you get back over by your facility you just want to go ahead and request your mobile operations center okay so make sure you're by your facility before you request your mobile operations center as you're going to be running around a lot if you do not wait till you're by your facility all right so you just want to go ahead and get your mobile operations center and then once you get your mobile operations center you just want to make your way over to your facility and you're going to want to go ahead and park your mobile operations center exactly how i did in the video okay now if you do not park your mobile operations center exactly how i did uh you're going to be having some trouble with this glitch because uh it it has to be precise where you park the mobile operations center all right it's like it's weird i don't understand how it works but uh you just need to park it in a precise spot so um watch how i align the mobile operations center exactly up with the edge okay so the back bumper is exactly aligned with the edge i'm just going to get out for a second and i'm going to go ahead and go kill myself over here so i just want to go ahead and go to the highway go about 50 yards 100 yards from my facility um, if you don't have a highway you're just going to go ahead and go 50 yards from your facility or 100 yards from your facility and then you're going to shoot yourself in the head okay once you do that you're simply going to go ahead and get in a streetcar, okay? But before you get in a streetcar, this is a major concern. You need to have your interaction menu up, okay? If you do not have your interaction menu up, it's going to give you the facility full alert over here, and we do not want that, all right? So we want to make sure uh, when we're getting in the car, we have the interaction menu up, all right? So I'm just going to get in the car with the interaction menu up, and as you can see, it's not giving me the full alert, uh, the the replace alert because I actually have the interaction menu up right so I'm just driving back to the facility and basically what I want to do is I want to go ahead and park behind the MOC um, like right behind it and close the interaction menu and I should hear nothing okay we want to hear absolutely nothing when we close the interaction menu if we hear nothing in the background behind the alert um, we are golden all right so basically once we get here we're going to press circle or be on xbox to go ahead and close the interaction menu and you will see that you will get the facility full alert now if you do not hear silence you want to go ahead and back up 
um, open your interaction menu and wait about 10 seconds till you try it again okay so you want to wait about 10 seconds uh, when you back up and then you want to go ahead and go back to the back of your MOC after you know that 10 seconds has been up and you close your interaction menu and you should hear nothing now I hear nothing at this point so I'm just gonna have my friends go ahead and flip me upside down alright so I want to be flipped upside down from this point to where I like this is gonna kick me out of the vehicle and it's gonna make it to where I can receive a vehicle for my friend this is the whole glitch right this is pretty much uh, the golden ticket right here. All right, so uh, right now while I'm on this alert my friend has a phantom wedge and he's trying to push me upside down um, And this may take a few minutes, but um, Sometimes it's pretty quick you get it within like 30 seconds All right, so basically what I'm doing is I'm waiting for my friend to go ahead and push me upside down with the phantom wedge or you can use a streetcar or You can use your like your friend can get their MOC truck and do it with that uh, Anything heavy that's gonna push the vehicle upside down so basically we're just waiting to get pushed upside down and then once we get pushed upside down we are simply going to go ahead and accept the alert all right so uh, once our friend tells us that we are completely upside down we can simply then accept the alert and then from there uh, he's going to tell us that we are getting out of the car and all that good stuff and we're going to go into an infinite loading screen and then after that we just want to have him kill us all right so it's that easy uh, brings back kind of the old glitch so I just accepted the alert as I was upside down I'm on this kind of infinite loading screen and my friend just went ahead and killed me alright so once he kills you you're gonna go ahead and go on to a little bit of a long loading screen and then you will spawn on the street alright now once you spawn now is the time to where you any vehicle you get in around the map is going to be your vehicle so you just want to go ahead and figure out what vehicle you want and then from here you can receive that vehicle so you're just going to go ahead and find, get your friend to go ahead and bring you his vehicle that you want to receive. Or you can just go ahead and find someone's vehicle to steal from this point and steal it. Alright, so basically uh, this is a really easy, like, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's not really easy. I'm not going to say it's really easy, but it's pretty easy. I mean, after you get the hang of it, I mean, it's, it's, it's a long process for uh, one car, I'd say. But uh, if you can do one after another with it it would it would be much better so if we can figure out how to get it one after another it would be much better but uh from here we just want to go ahead and get in the vehicle that we want to duplicate from our friend and we simply want to go ahead and accept the alert all right so killer brought me a little motorcycle here and i'm going to go ahead and get on it here in a second and i am going to simply accept the alert all right so i'm just going to go ahead and get on this motorcycle here and basically when i get on this motorcycle it's going to give me the facility full alert and I simply just want to accept it and it's going to take me in the facility and there we have it give cars friends after the most recent hot fixes in GTA 5 online all right so make sure you guys definitely drop 250 likes on this video uh, that'd be much appreciated it gets me up there in the ranks and it gets the channel going all right guys and notification squad make sure you guys comment hashtag notification squad and hashtag GTA 5 money if you guys want to brand new give cars friends store any vehicle glitch coming very soon in GTA 5 online Alright, so basically I'm going to go ahead and replace this vehicle and show you guys that I did receive my friend's motorcycle after the most recent hot fixes in GTA 5 Online. Like I said, make sure you guys definitely take advantage of this while you can as Rockstar is definitely patching these glitches very quickly, alright? So basically here it is. It's insured as, it's, as to it was insured before I got it. Um, if the vehicles aren't insured, this does not insure the vehicle. So, uh... If the vehicles weren't insured before you got them, there it is not going to insure the vehicles. All right, so make sure you guys definitely drop some likes on this video. Um, I'm pretty much out of here, bros. Ooh.